Commander. The Germans have taken Lukachaya. The ring is complete. Can we get back to Kiev, Commander? To your posts! Weapons ready for battle! Right now! Move it!
Boys, grab this fellow. Around me. He's injured. Careful, Deadly. careful. Be careful. Careful. Okay. Come on. Yeah. I got you. Okay. Okay. I think he's one of your guys. Lieutenant Berenstein. Third company. Melnichenko. Also a lieutenant. Except our company no longer exists. Not just yours. There's nothing left of our defense forces. Father, we're going to leave tonight. We have to find Parsons before the snow piles. Do whatever you like, but you're going to get Which caught. is why we can't stay. They'll come sooner or later. What about him? Hold on. Just, just hold on. This won't take very long. All right, pour it. Yeah, that's it. Quiet, quiet. That's it. We got it. We got it. Brought me tea. Uh -huh. Thank you. And what is your name? Talked about? Is that the Jew? I think that Jew. came by this morning. He didn't stay, and he's long gone. Well, your neighbor told me the same damn thing. And I even believed him. But to be sure, our men searched his cabin. Know what happens if I find him? Hmm? Yes, that's why I turned him away. Who is that? My grandchild. What's your name, little girl? Vera. Be quiet. I think your grandfather is hiding a soldier here. You could show me where, hmm? There's no one here. He's right. There's no one here. Let's go. Hmm. Hmm. Careful, Peter. She's only a little girl. Too young to die. Just go across the village. All the way across. Enter the forest by the stables. When you reach the river, cross it. And Keep following the flow. Soon after, you'll reach a pine grove. And that's where Smolensky Forest begins. This is bread. You'll need it. I had a son who was about your size. Take it. Thank you. It's okay. Thank you, Father.
he's alive. I am Commander Dubovoy. I'm the battalion commander. Lieutenant Dorofiev commands the intelligence unit. You will surely meet the others in due time. But right now, I want you to state your name and profession, if you have one. Proceed. Answer to your name. Malkin. Malkin, Semyon. I'm a painter from Cherkasy. They killed my family. That's why I've come to you. Painter? Can you do anything else that would be useful? Armin. Circus Armin. Sergeant in the armored division. I managed to get separated from my unit near Kanotop. Vasiliev. Vasiliev Vladimir, 223rd Artillery Regiment with the 5th Army. Where were you separated from them? Near Orzika, Commander. Zarenko. Second Naval Lieutenant Zarenko. I was separated from my unit in a battle near Kiev. Kim. Look, Comrade Commander, Boy wants to join us to fight, but we don't know where he's from, or who his parents are. We don't have parents. I'm all alone. <laughs> Joining a partisan camp is an act of bravery, but you still must earn the right to be called a true partisan. Above all, remember this, you are not in a wild group. You are subject to the orders issued by the headquarters of the Ukrainian Front. We are all soldiers within the Red Army. By that I mean, you must follow all its rules and duties as instructed. Military duties and rules apply to you, just as they apply to every armored corps, navy, or infantry soldier. There are... a few small differences. Unlike the soldiers at the Front, you will get no days off, and no leaves. You will have no hospital. You will have to make do with our own doctor, Sergei Ivanovich. There's just one problem. Sergei Ivanovich has no medicine. Therefore, it is sometimes better to die than to be injured. And death here waits around every corner. Ah. We have but one main mission, to blow up Nazi freight trains. Preferably those carrying tanks or ammunition. But if they only carry Nazis, that's good too. So, you have to be very Get those dead. bastards off the damn tracks. Partisans a master of the forest. To become a master, you must know every bush, every standing tree, every path. The forest will become your home. Where should we go, sir? Go right. Don't stay back. and you must learn to protect your home from unwelcome guests.
onion, vitamins. I can pass the cup. Well, to victory. To victory. victory. Huh? Don't I have better things to do than poison myself with smoke? Piss off. Oh, wow. She speaks. Ooh. Hey, a Sambakov. Did you think it's okay to poison the girl? Poison a girl like that? Never. So after the war ends, you should come with me to Tashkent. Keep oh. dreaming. Our watermelons are really big. Why are you rubbing it in? Why are you bringing up watermelons? Why not? Let me dream. I bet Tashkent is warm, with plenty of food. I wish I was there now. There's nothing for us to do there. We're here to fight the Nazis. And Tashkent is where the Jews are hiding. That's right. Commander. Vasiliev. May I speak with you? Sit down. My commander. I wish to reveal to HQ my real name. Leonard Berenstein. My mother should know I'm alive. Here at camp, I'd rather remain Vasiliev. With your permission. Three freight trains, Vasiliev. Three freight trains just this week. And one of them is yours. Do you think it really matters what the person blowing them up is called? Or what his nationality is? I think it would be better this way. Some of the guys know me as Volodya. Whatever you say. It's your decision. The tree is crying. Come on, it's time to go. What's going on? Comrade Dubovoy, the bonfire is ready to be lit. Damn it, where are they? The sun is up. They should have been here. It would be better if they didn't come. We'll be caught along with them. Incoming plane! Our guys are on it! Light the bonfires. And be quick about it! Tell me, do you have an ass for a head? What took you so damn long? And why so many parachutes? We were waiting for a single fighter and some cargo. Who's in charge here? May I presume that you're Comrade de Beauvoir? I was warned about you. This area is swarming with German troops. 
They're literally hunting us. It's very dangerous here during the day. But we aren't Germans, right? So you should advise him to be very careful whenever he talks to a party commissar. Who are you, please? Vasily Vladimir, commander of the intelligence unit. You seem young for a commander. Captain, I'm Major Goryachny, here to establish a new unit in Pozarsky's name. Is that all? Is that it? Where's the cargo? Where's the damn food? Where are the weapons for my men? What are you going to do for me without those things? The operation to cross the Dnieper is scheduled to begin soon. The Red Army is preparing to liberate Western Ukraine. In point of fact, our joint mission is to help the army make it safely across the river. We're talking about thousands of soldiers and equipment. That's why, from this moment on, we work together. And you, Comrade Dubovoy, will have to share your men with me. Here are the full details from headquarters. Just read this. Kabachenko, here! Take Fomenko and Smirnov and head to the camp through the grove. Yes, sir! You will escort Comrade Goryachny and all of his friends. The rest come with me. We'll go via the river. That's all. Move it out. At least we have a beautiful day. Don't you agree, Commander Dubovoy? Does it make you want to sing? Stop. Uh, uh, got a toothache. Hey, hey, let me take a look. Uh, I studied dentistry for a year before they took us to the front, so maybe... Uh, oh, wow. We need to pull it out. Huh? Pull yours out? Whoa, what's with you? Silence, everyone. Ready the weapons. Silence and ready the weapons. Penal battalions. No less than a hundred men. And those damn collaborators are with them. Villagers have always helped us. That's why the Nazis came. We'll all die here. We won't even make it across the river. Where is my child? There are children there. There's nothing we can do. There's nothing we can do. There's nothing we can do. 
There's nothing we can do. There's nothing we can do. There's nothing we can do. There's nothing we can do. There's nothing we can do. Comrade Commander, they're waiting for you. We've received orders from the headquarters of the 4th Ukrainian Front. The Red Army plans to make their crossing at the Dnieper, south of Cherkass. From here to here. Our mission is to gather intelligence about German fortifications on the right bank in order for us to be able to identify a weak spot. The Dnieper is wide. Without a bridgehead, the crossing is sure to become a massacre, as you can imagine. We're talking about thousands of soldiers and military vehicles. That's impossible. The order is to gather intelligence. What's the location of the largest German force in the area? Comrade Vasiliev, please show us on the map where we are in relation to the burned out village. Comrade Vasiliev? We're here. We're about 120 miles from the Dnieper, if the unit gets close. Even if we move in small groups, the Germans will spot us immediately. They can't perfectly fortify the entire 120-mile bank. There must be a weak spot, but it's... not there. What do you mean, not there? We need to find an engineering battalion. They have a map of the fortifications, but probably not along the riverbank. It's more likely to be at the rear. Our mission is of the highest order, and your only suggestion is that we look for an imaginary map that, in fact, may not even exist? Mm. Infiltration is the only solution. It's a dangerous plan, but... it'll give us a chance to keep our people safe and carry out the mission. Explain yourself. Ima speaks German, and so does Zulkowski. We'll send them to the German rear with some backup. In order to do this, we'll keep low profile and stay only within the camp until we're fully blended. What are you proposing? They simply walk into German HQ, say hello and take the map and walk out? Exactly, Comrade Commissioner. I have a feeling your comrade, Vasiliev, is intending to send his men into certain death. Besides, Commander, I've just learned that there's a food shortage in the battalion. So we have to send people into the village in order to get food. A low profile We can't go to the village. There are German agents there. If we're caught, we'll fail the mission. Your men have nothing to eat right now. The men will manage it. Zarenko, you will cover all of us from here. You go around the house.
So, Shatela. Out of luck again. You searched to find a Sebesh's house for a soldier. Remember? I can see in your eyes you remember. I wish I had found him. Why are you here? To loot the village? Take the food and get out. <laughs> there are rumors the Germans have posted an engineering battalion in your region. We need to know where and how many there are of them. I'm not gonna help you, you partisan scum. You collaborate with animals, you bastard. Do you know what your friends did to the village? You were there. Go fuck yourself, you forest rat. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Commander? Velodia? Are you all right? Have him give the building's layout. Tell it to Malkin so he can draw it. I'm gonna hang him. In the forest. As you say. Tell me. When will we be allowed to go to the village for food? No sooner than five days. How do we survive? Eat weeds or, or what? Listen, you can eat weeds if you like. Or live on your prayers, like our friend Emus does. Screw you and your unfunny jokes. Listen, ugly. You want to get yourself killed? Huh? What does it matter Gentlemen, where I die, Gentlemen! asshole? Stop it! Be respectful of each other. We already have an enemy to fight. Have you forgotten? You have to be an example to the young ones. Zarenko, you should go read a book. Hey, you know, they said there's a village where you can get food. In your dreams. There, Emil is cooking. They're idiots. What else can we do? We're all gonna die here. But I have an idea. Get two recruits, and you won't be ready to move at sunrise. What's up? I don't like this. It's just too damn quiet. It smells like Nazis. Let's just finish up as quickly as possible and head back. You got it? Huh. Come on, let's go. I'll check the other side in the meantime, okay? It's a lot of potatoes. 
Guess we can all eat now. Mm. Turns out she had a bunch of fascist posters. That bitch was mingling with the Nazis. Lower your rifle, come on. By the orders of Comrade Stalin, we held on to our weapons and did not surrender to the enemy. Despite the horrendous shortage of food and ammunition, the soldier's spirit is strong, and their faith in victory remains unshakable. Dismissed. soldiers did in the village? Do you think it's okay for them to loot? And rape the women? You're a commissioner, damn it! Stay calm. Look what they found at her place. Who gave the order without my knowledge? Okay, my soldiers screwed up. But I'll handle it. Make sure they pay for what they did. They'll pay? They don't have enough to pay anything. Look how they're expected to live. There's no bread. People cover themselves with whatever they can find. The German noose is getting tighter and tighter, and you're just making it worse. Listen, Vasiliev. If I listened to everyone, we'd have already devolved into eating each other. We're not at the front, Zelen. At least we the are soldiers at the front behind. have something to eat. And a bed, and the occasional chance for leave. While well, we merely exist here like hunted animals. Yeah, we have no food. And no chance for leave. But we will make no concessions. Let them hunt us all they want. But my soldiers aren't animals. Leonard. They're all your soldiers. Mine. And I have over a hundred of them. Without proper discipline, we won't survive a month here. So decide who will be in the firing squad. I once knew a major. He was a good guy, but he had one little problem. He was just too honest. And you know what happened to him? We should re-educate them, not kill them. Otherwise someone, somewhere, might be extremely unhappy about it. Comrade Berenstein. That's enough, Zeeland. Tomorrow morning you do it yourself. Not just a Zembekov, but anyone who was there and said nothing. And I'll stand behind you, but believe me, if you make one wrong move, I will send you to the afterlife with them. You got it.
comrades, wait. I didn't do anything. I order you to carry out the sentence. Get ready. Aim. And fire! <laughs> Kiev liberated, and the Dnieper River behind us. I'm sure the German stays on Ukrainian soil are numbered. So friends, let's simply drink to this great victory. All of you, no exceptions, have contributed greatly. Hurrah! 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 I am, Captain. Mm -hmm. Well done, Vasilyev. I must say that you've all done so much. Let's drink to you, to the partisans, to Spitivak, to Gapsino, the Dnieper River, to your brave operations. A toast. You know us well, comrade Captain. Forgive me. I've got to introduce myself. Korozhilov, head of the accommodation department. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> of course I know. You're a battalion. <laughs> I sign off on all the medals you get. <clears throat> mm. Tell me. By the way, who's that Jew you got with you? Berenstein. <laughs> Can I ask you to pass the gherkins? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> these gherkins are really something. Haven't had any in a while. What were you saying? Comrade Captain? About Bernstein? Oh, yeah. I've received all sorts of recommendations about him. They want to award him the gold star. And I... Obviously... I do what I have to do. I hide them. Get it? If you're done, Captain, hmm? I'll introduce you to Berenstein. Well, where is he? <coughs> Berenstein. A real pleasure to meet you. Do you think I fight for your commendations? Volodya, what's the sudden hurry? Couldn't they have mentioned this earlier? What were they thinking? Quick rumbling, Imas. We have two days to prepare. Make sure all those lover boys report to me in five minutes. Yes, sir. Could you make it ten minutes, comrade? 
Comrade Dubavoy. I'm so glad to see you. I heard you're flying out, so I came to visit. Let's sit down. I understand you're being sent to Western Ukraine. <laughs> I heard the order came from above. They sent out four units. None of them returned, Volodya. I know. Hmm. Do they? Stay safe, my son. All assembled? Sir, Zarenko and Luneva are missing. Thank you. Vasiliev. Operator Alexandra, you're lucky we need you. Otherwise, I'd have you detained for five days for unauthorized absence. Forgive me, Comrade Vasiliev. I was at the shooting range. I've never used a weapon before. Get on the plane and get dressed. Yes, right away. What the hell is that? It's a fine goose, sir. I see it's a goose. What's it doing here? There's a superstition that you need to give the pilot a gift before you take off. In the book from Emos, I believe it said it was a goose who saved Rome. So I brought this one to save us. Just sit down, Zarenko. Straight away. Where's the radio operator?
There's someone there! Inside my parachute. Who the hell are you? Who the hell are you? Answer me! Tell us who you are. Don't stay silent. Yes, stay yours. Yes, What's going on? Here? What language is he speaking? Stay yours. Yes, me. Yes, me. Klopem. Stay yours. Agneska and my Emilik That's it. Shut up. His tongue seems to be working, but he doesn't speak Ukrainian. Comrades, I don't know how to tell you this, but. I welcome you all to Poland. How's that possible? Should be in the Carpathian Mountains. Polski. To jest Polsk. Polski. Jak nazywa się się wioska? Dindia. Nasze wioski. Dindia. Dindia. Polski. Can you show me that on the map? Tutaj, Dydnia, Dydnia, Polski, Polski, Polski. I think we're about 60 miles away from our destination. What should we do? If the food sacks fell near the village, the Germans will be there soon. It would be suicide for us to stay here. We're leaving now and we'll take him with us. Be quiet. Get up. Commander, bad news. Gusinov has a compound fracture. Without medicine, without a cast, he'll never make it to the target. Then we'll make sure he makes it. It looks like an abandoned field hospital. Maybe there's some medicine in there? Comrade Vasilia? It's not a hospital. There are posts with barbed wire. Then what was this? A village burned by the Germans? Doesn't look like it. All right. Ravenko, Platonov, stay here with Indik and Gusinov. The rest of you, with me. Yes, sir. Wedding day, love of father. Covered in blood. He speaks French. We can't understand anything he's saying. Volodya, 
Uh, our comrades found a Frenchman hiding behind that hill. He claims he escaped from a detainee camp and that the Germans are developing something dangerous. It's very clear he wants us to report to Comrade Stalin immediately. Mm -hmm. Could be delusional. What did you see? Dennis, uh, is resistant fantasy. I'm an engineer. I'm an engineer. I don't understand. Répète check euh, malinquement. Je suis ingénieur. Euh, J'y étais. J'étais dans cette base, dans cette base militaire dans laquelle les Allemands construisent des, des missiles. Croyez-moi, il faut. What les Allemands ont meublé plusieurs uh, bases. He says he's an energy engineer. He worked with other prisoners at a training facility, in which he believes the Germans are developing missiles that are as tall as damn buildings. Have you seen them? Have you seen these missiles? Yes, one time. Yes, he says he saw one. Genre réservoir de nitrate, d'ammoniac et de TNT. Il s'agit d'un mélange explosif appelé amatol. Il est très résistant aux vibrations et à la chaleur. Ils en ont assez pour raser n'importe quel pays en Europe. Croyez-moi. Il y a tellement de amatol. He translate. He said something about chemistry. I didn't really understand it. But what I got was that these missiles could destroy half the continent. Oui. My comrades, are we sure our new friend here is even sane? We're staying right here. We'll get some provisions. If we're lucky, some medicine. But hold on. According to orders, we're 40 miles from the target. Then they'll have to change the order. Volodya. Under any circumstances, we need to report to headquarters. Before we make a decision like that. They'll have to change the order. You said yourself. That staying here would be like committing suicide. Imas, you have to trust me. We should stay right here. Do you believe he's telling the truth? Don't know. But even if only half of what he says is true, then we're incredibly lucky. Comrade Commander, I can't get through and I've tried five times. We're out of communication range. Get some rest. Request, sir. Can I sit next to you for a while? Tonight's sky looks very special. Or maybe it always does. I just never noticed it. You know how many stars are in the sky? How many stars in the sky? How many weeds in the field? How many crumbs in a loaf of bread? How many drops in the sea? Remember, you're the only one for me. I miss home. My father used to recite that poem to me when I was little. My stepfather. I never met my real father.
I don't remember mine. He died when I was five. Recall anything? He was a watchmaker. <laughs> As a child, I'd sit on his lap. I liked to pretend we were fixing watches together. Time seemed to stop when we were together like that. I don't remember anything else. It's been so long. I don't even remember his face. How does your poem end? Remember, you are the only one for me. Without you, no sky. Without you, no sea. Like bread without crumbs. Like the sea without drops. Shura, read what we got. Yes. Why is there no new information about the facility? When can we expect accurate information? As you see, Central Command's losing patience. While we've been looking for the facility for two months, we've lost many operatives. It's getting hard to evade the Germans. And we haven't gotten close to the facility. So, we need a plan. Imas? Okay, so, here's what we learned from people we found who managed to escape it. The secret facility is being used for the purpose of developing long-range missiles. The facility is heavily guarded. Our intelligence operatives are being caught long before they get anywhere near the area. All roads leading to it are completely sealed. We know the facility is located somewhere in between Rizal and Krakow, but precisely where we have no idea. I'd say to hell with it. It's not worth the price we pay. We've lost too many people over it. What if... we send people who are able to blend in? Like, for example, the helpless locals. Can you find us some disabled locals? Czy może pan znaleźć jakichś e, kaleków skaleczonych ludzi międzymiejscowych? Znajdę, nie martwcie panie Dumas. He'll find some. We're also going to need some elderly people who won't raise suspicion. Mm -hmm. There are eight central roads that run through this area and 20 to 30 dirt paths in addition to the roads. And the mission for our people is to pass through each one of those roads. The main objective is to mark exactly where they're stopped by the Germans. Stop! Where do you think you're going? We're just going to gather mushrooms. No, no. Turn back. We'll put a mark on the map indicating every checkpoint. And at the center of that perimeter will be our prize. The German facility. That's the SS officer who's in charge of security at the facility. They're having a party today. I'll try and lure him out at 7 p.m. Be ready.
This boy here. Is he your son? Yes. My son. He's my helper. What's that? I don't know. I'm sure this roadblock wasn't here before. Go wrong. Run away and get this note to the commander. There's something sticking out of his pocket. You have something there? Unbutton your coat. Let's see what you're hiding. Come here. <laughs> Wait, where are you going, little Victoria? Wait, come here. I've missed you. Zarenko, make sure this young man gets food and a drink. There you are. Dabika. Volodya, can I interrupt for a moment? We found it, Imas. It's in Dabika. wrong. The head of Starzhinsa, near Balagrad. He's our informant. Yes, I know. What of it? After the incident with the burned-out village, you asked us to tell you of anything similar. The leader of the village reports that He's seeing Germans capture a large group of Jewish families with children. Maybe a hundred people. He said they'll be executed tomorrow. Volodya, I understand. But we can't risk the operation. We've come too far. Moreover, we have direct orders from headquarters not to go anywhere near that town. Presence of superior enemy forces. Volodya, you can believe your people would follow you through the gates of hell. But not now, not... When we're this close, you know that there's too much at stake now. We must accept it. There's nothing we can do. Leave me now.
As soon as we enter, we'll split into two groups. Move it, you lovely swine. Come on, keep going. building left. I am the commander of the Pozarski Partisan Battalion. The main gate is open. You're free to go at any time. Those who choose to stay will be given a weapon. Then you'll become partisans. You'll be fighting for your home with us. That will be true freedom. Not everyone is born to be a fighter. 
but all are born to be free. A free man chooses for himself how he will live, how he will die. Today we bid farewell to our brothers and sisters in arms who gave their lives so that others may live. The entire world owes them a never-ending debt. My name is Leonard Berenstein. I'm proud to be one of you. I was also meant to have a yellow badge on my shirt. And I also made a choice. It's very possible that soon, maybe even tomorrow, our lives will come to an end. But it's not death that matters, but who we are when we need it.